Well, after that, after that last segment, lot, you just never buckle know. Up, <laughs> buckle up, Tommy! Jenny, Jenny's taught us all sorts of that. Uh, and look who's back in the oh, kitchen to show us a bit more. Oh. Joel, <laughs> we have to bring you back in a good way today. Oh, thank you so much. And it's, I am so delighted to be back. And before I start, could I, from the bottom of my heart, genuinely thank all the viewers of Ireland AM for the massive support that I have received from them over the last, you know, uh, year or more. And from, I won't say the team here at Island AM, but the family of Island AM. Uh, you've just been so absolutely beautiful to me. And even at my darkest times, all those messages have been just unreal. And I, the funny thing was, throughout life, I, I've done a lot of charity work in my life and, and demonstrations for different people. And you don't really understand the impact it has because when you've never been through it yourself. Yeah. But Just when people, you, you were, are you were sick. That, yeah. Yes, I, I was anointed at one stage and, and was, they didn't think I was going to make it through uh, the night. Actually, I was telling Tommy earlier, on that night, I actually seen my mother at the end of the bed. And my mum had died in 2007 oh. of bowel cancer. And she was smiling lovingly at me. And when I woke up, there was uh, one of the oncology team there in the matter private uh, was there beside me, Professor McCaffrey. And he just said to me, you're a mystery man, he says, because your infections have just receded. I mean, so my mum was that. obviously there to make me, help me make me get better. Well, you didn't know whether she was going to take it I was going to make sure you were going to be on the ventilator and rub her down. I wasn't too sure. I mean, yeah, it's a there. joke. It's incredible to think, like, 17 years ago today, you were on this show. Yes, Amazing. I started. And, and we used to be in the shed outside. It is a family. <laughs> you know, I'm only here a couple of years as well, yes. and you do see a family. Um, and why people love you is because you do good meals as ah, well, yes. and we'll get stuck into it as well. And we will. And, and, and what I was just thinking, for, for coming back, is because, you know, I'm finding it. The cost of living is yeah. just absolutely crazy. It was absolutely through the roof. And there's just me and Mary at home at the minute, really. Uh, Joseph's down from, from, from on holidays from college. But we're feeling it. We're just yeah. two people. So what yeah. does a family feel? Absolutely. So I thought, what about a nice family meal? So I have here roughly about the recipes up on, on, on the Virgin Media website. But don't get too exact. It's not an exact science. Okay. All right. So I have 400 grams on the, on the recipe of turkey meat. But you can use chicken meat. Okay. Uh, if you have 380 grams, that's fine. Don't, you know, it doesn't have to be an exact science. So turkey meat. In there, I have some white breadcrumbs. So this is ideal if you have maybe a slice or two of bread sort of just coming to the end of life. So you can just, you know... Stick them uh, in the blender, uh, blender. all together. I like to take the crusts off, okay. but you can leave the crusts on should you so wish. No problem. Okay. So that right. goes in there. And this will help bind it and help the consistency of, of, the, of the meatballs. Okay. Into that, I'm using the most popular herb ever used in the world, is coriander, oh. all right? Oh. Now, people would think that's parsley, but it's actually coriander because it's used a lot in Indian cookery and... and, and Cilantro, isn't that what they Asian call it over in yeah. America? So, here we go. So, a nice sort of generous... This a beautiful flavour of coriander. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have some Parmesan cheese. Oh, beautiful. But if you have in your fridge maybe a bit of cheddar that's coming, you know, you, you, that little piece left at the end, grate it up and put it in as well. Uh, no problem at all. I'm putting in 50 to 100 grams, give or take. And then I'm going to add an egg to that. Very simple. And then we just give that, I have gloves on here, give it a nice mix. And then I'm going to put the two of you to work. OK, right, All right. come on. Because I yeah. think it's nice when you have a, a, a sort of a family together, to get everyone together, doing a little bit. So I want you to make some balls for me, some meatballs. All right, there we go. Pass them on there. I'm in love. Right, so we're, making, we're making some balls stop now. It, so. Stop it, stop it. Come <laughs> so on this now. Is, this is a warm pot sort of a dish. So in my casserole dish here, How I basically... How big do you want the balls now? Well, I think sort of something maybe in around that size there. About that. Oh, yeah, there, perfect. Right, and just perfect place them on the plate got. there beside you. Just put them on the white plate when you have them made. And out of this mix, you should get it's somewhere... very small. Jeez, you do off a big ball. <laughs> <laughs> very small. <laughs> right, Jeez, OK, is. right. So I'm placing them then on top. Uh, here in my casserole dish, I have some onions, some garlic, some peppers, some bacon. And again, ideal if you're at, you know, in the fridge. We often have sort of peppers, you know, just maybe a quarter of a pepper left, yep. that type of thing. Chop them up, throw them in there. You might have one rasher left. If it's smoked rasher, all the better. Plain Beautiful, rasher is fine. Yeah. If you have no rasher, don't worry about it. Half an onion chopped up. A couple of cloves of garlic in there. Just the job. How are we doing? Can I get this your balls? A, this <laughs> is very good at doing balls like that. Oh, <laughs> very around. good. What have we done? I learned this in a trick one time. Did there you learn go. it in one of Jenny's yeah. conferences? No, give me, that, no. give me your balls there, like, I see. Oh, sorry. There we there go. go. Perfect. Great job. 
So they very simply on top of that little mirror. But as you said earlier on, it's um, it's a clear at the fridge dish. Yes, absolutely. So you know you you have sort of peppers. Oh, throw it in there. Thank you very much. Perfect. So you have you know a quarter of a pepper left. You have uh, maybe a half an onion left. You have uh, a few bits of garlic left. We have about a minute throw left. Throw them in. Here, absolutely. So, there we go. so then what we do is we just throw into that some tomato puree, some white beans. Okay. I'm using canned white beans, but you can use dried white beans, soak them overnight. Some tinned tomatoes, all right? Oh, beautiful. Some dried oregano, all right? A little bit of sugar in there. Now, if you buy the cheaper the tomatoes you buy, the more sugar you're going to need. Yes. All right? But buy what you can afford. Yeah, okay. A okay. little bit of chicken stock. That's that there. All right? That then, with the lid, into an oven. Bob's your uncle. Just as simple as that. Into an oven or a slow cooker, either either a slow cooker for about four hours, four or five hours, in an oven 180 for about an hour, give or take, depending on the size of your meatballs. Slow cooker sounds delicious. All right. Yeah. And what we end up is with something like this, which I'm going to give you a taste of. What's the dish called? It is called a summer empty the fridge cassoulet. 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 I don't, I've never heard cassoulet before. Have you not? No, oh, like well, here we go. So, Miriam. Sure. Ladies first, you yeah, tell me listen, what you listen, think. We're at a Joe bit. Shannon first from my, Warren, so, yeah. I've never had Joe's food before. And a little bit of coriander on top. Oh there my we God, go. amazing. Have a little that, taste. Tell me what you think. And oh, Tommy. Go on, no, you're in. No. And again, a oh, little bit of parmesan lovely, on top. lovely, Joe. And coriander. And Tommy. Beautiful. There we are. Oh, my love. Beautiful. Joe Shannon, listen. Tell me what you think of that. And roughly, give or take, about a euro a, a, a main course. For a euro. Isn't that incredible? For the meat. Oh, the coriander is so nice. It Isn't really the coriander is so beautiful Parmesan, and fresh. Tomatoes With the, well. And because it's turkey, it's so lean. Yes. Um, and you know and what? Parmesan. If you let that cool, you could freeze that for up to a month. Wow. As well, which is great. So you can make it in, in big batches if you like. Fantastic. Listen, super to have you back again. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers and again, that, thank, you so much. So thank you so much. So emotional to be back. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.